Excuse me, Ms. Ingram. Sheldon, it's recess. Go outside, see what it's like. Are you by any chance Evelyn Ingram? Yes. The same Evelyn Ingram who checked out this book? And why is that your business? I just assumed you were looking to make a friend. Oh, <laughs> well, that was a long time ago. I just got out of a very difficult relationship. With a friend? Friend. <laughs> I gave that man three years of my life and my innocence. I don't know what that means. It means men are lying dogs only interested in one thing. Well, that's not the dictionary definition. Mm-hmm. Always starts the same. A quick glance across the room, a casual hand on the shoulder, lunch at Stucky's. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all romance and flowers in the beginning. The list proved to be a double-edged sword. It turns out self-help books written in 1936 were only of interest to adults. You're like, I'm here because I care. And by the way, your phone can make calls, too. Then tries to turn this whole thing around like it's all about you being needy. And you're like, yes, I have needs. That's what makes me human. Emotionally troubled adults. Child, go outside. Yes, that's my signature. Why do you ask? I'm seeking people who want to make friends. I wasn't interested in friends. I took out that book to help me become school principal. Did it work? Are we sitting in the principal's office? No. And you know why? Because Victoria McElroy is not a man. So to be clear, you're not interested in making friends. What I'm interested in is in living long enough to see women no longer treated like second-class citizens. Well, if your goal is a long life, that chili cheeseburger is a step in the wrong direction. Food is all I have. Like I said, emotionally troubled adults. You gonna watch me eat? Get out of here. Everybody told me. Hubert, don't date someone from work. But did I listen? No. Let me tell you something. She likes to say I stole her innocence. Well, what about my innocence? I was never the same after we broke up. Two years later, Mr. Givens became the high school principal, which might be why Ms. McElroy became morbidly obese. I had friends, I had the charm, and I don't like to brag, but I was pretty easy on the eyes back then. That woman got herself one heck of a package. But some people don't want to be satisfied. 